afternoon. I welcome my viewers from across the globe today. Thank you for joining our show. And today we'll be talking about the empowerment of the girl child. And I'd like to start this show by uh, talking about the president of Nigeria during his state visit to Germany a couple of years ago. He was asked a few questions and this was what his response was. And mind you, I'm quoting from Reuters. I'm not quoting from just any, any publication. I'm quoting from Reuters. And that publication was on the 14th of October, 2016. Now, this is what Buhari said concerning his wife when he was asked a question. I'll read. Berlin, Reuters. Nigerian president on Friday dismissed criticism voiced by his wife, Aisha Buhari, in a BBC interview saying she belonged in the kitchen and he had superior knowledge about running a government. Buhari continued, I don't know exactly what party my wife belongs to. Actually, she belongs in the kitchen, in the living room and the other rooms in my house. Now, I stopped there for a while. And I want to say that if you're an African father, and if, you're, if you have a, a female children, I want to encourage you to listen to this uh, show until the very end. So today, the title of our show is Five Girls five doctors, one family. And I'll start by also saying that I'm inspired to do this by the post I came across on Facebook on African History uh, Book page. And this post was made, or was uh, it was uh, this story, uh, was posted by Aminu Farouk. So uh, I just want to acknowledge that I am not the one that posted that story. But on African History Group page, Facebook page, on the 14th of November this year, uh, the following story, uh, you can find the following story about five Nigerian sisters. And here is the title. It says, Meet Nigerian sisters who are all medical doctors, trailblazing in different fields of the medical profession. The five Sisters, and I want to read again. Give me a moment. The five sisters who are from Okene in Kogi State are known as Dr. Salama Aliu, first female neurosurgeon in West Africa. Dr. Halima Aliu, plastic surgeon. Dr. Ralia Aliu, obstetrician and gynecologist. Dr. Khadija Aliu, family physician. And Dr. Medina Aliu, public health physician. And then Aminu Farouk ended this post by saying, when we empower women, we empower families, communities, and nations. So, the credit for this post goes to Aminu Farouk. Now, these are five girls born of the same parents who went, went on to become medical doctors. This kind of story qualifies them for entry into the Guinness Book of Records. So if you are a dad, especially African dad, and you're watching this show, I want you to encourage and educate your daughter do not reason like Muhammad Buhari, the president of Nigeria. Because what Buhari said concerning his wife tells us a lot about his mentality. That's the way he reasons. And if you're now wondering why the country has regressed under his watch, then you don't need to look beyond what he has said in Berlin a few years ago. So, empower your female children. Now, the empowerment of female children is not just 
for the sake of them becoming doctors or engineers or, or lawyers. What I'm trying to say by empowerment is that you allow your girl child to flourish in the area of her talent. And this is the case of the, uh, the, the, uh, uh, the Baba sisters of Ethiopia. I want you to take a look. Now, the Dibaba sisters are athletes, but they are not ordinary athletes. These are champion athletes. And I also want to quote again from an online publication, sportsbrief.com. This is what was said concerning the Dibaba sisters. Now, the Dibaba sisters, they boast four Olympic gold medals, two silver medals, three bronze medals, and 15 world championships. I continue. Just like tennis stars Serena and Venus Williams, the Dibaba sisters have carved themselves into a brand that would be difficult to beat, that of the fastest family on earth. Tirunesh, Genzebe, Ejegayehu, Anna and Melat are from Ethiopia, the only siblings in recorded history to hold concurrent world records and they boast four Olympic gold medals, two silver medals, three bronze medals and 15 world championships. Again, this qualifies the Dibaba family for entry into the Guinness Book of Records. And I want to say that all of us have a responsibility in the empowerment of the girl child. This is exactly what my friend and classmate, Mrs. Sonny Alana, is doing in Abuja. Mrs. Alan, Alan, Alana, that is Sonny, is a graduate of modern European languages. She speaks uh, English, French, and German very, very friendly, fluently, and she's uh, a retired uh, diplomat. And what did she do upon retirement? She didn't just go sit down at home. When she retired, she dived into the corporate world, uh, where she helped uh, uh, an oil giant, Toto E&P Nigeria. She helped them to set up what they refer to as the government relations department. Now, apart from that, and when Sonia eventually left the services of Toto, what did she do? She became an etiquette consultant. She conducts trainings in etiquette, in protocol, and public speaking for public and private sector personnel. Sonia is also the founder of Sonia Speaks. On this platform, what does she do? She promotes positive stories about everyday life. But Sonia didn't stop there. She's also an advocate of girl-child empowerment. She helps the young girls find their voice. She promotes positive values in these girls, and she's a source of inspiration to them all. So, Sonia, my friend and classmate, you can follow her on Facebook. If you go to Sonia Alana, you'll find her on Facebook. You can also follow her on Instagram. Her handle is at Sonia Speaks. You can also follow her on YouTube at Sonia Alana. Now, Sonia is also the grand patron, uh, the grand patron, I would say, of Nigerian female students. And she uses this platform to advocate for the empowerment of the girl child. And I just want you to watch a clip of what Sonia does. Mind you, I do not own the copyrights of this clip. The copyright belongs to NTA. Please take a look. The Association of Nigerian Female Students in Abuja organized an empowerment summit at the University of Abuja to get women, particularly female students, involved in the economic evolution of Nigeria through skills acquisition as well as enthroning young women in Nigerian politics. The expression, intentional expression of the girl child in her place of academic, academic pathways to define and design her future. It is aimed at 
empowering the girl child with basic skill and knowledge needed to stand the thriving times in the society. We are here to empower them. We are here to encourage them. That's why I suspended everything I had to come here and empower them. And that was why I gave them a copy of my book. The grand patron of the association, Sonia Alana, encouraged female students to build up their God-given talents. For the first time, we're having an empowerment summit, getting young Nigerian stu female students to think about how they can add value apart from the, their chosen academic course. The female students who spoke with NTA News said the event is a welcome development, adding that if you educate a girl child, you educate a nation. During this program, I've been brushed up a little about what I know about a female student. Not just being a student, you need to make yourself a career, create yourself for the future ahead. Programs like this, yes, it helps us to, you know, to, to bring out that talent, that power we've got. The team for the 2022 Empowerment Summit is female students and the drive for sustainable development in Nigeria. In Abuja, Francisca Bile, NTA News. Now you can then imagine what would have become of Chimamanda Adichie, a brilliant writer, a novelist, and a speaker. And what would have become of Dr. Ngozi Okonjo Iwala, a world-renowned economist and technocrat, and presently the Director General of the World Trade Organization. She's the first female and the first African to head that organization. You would then, then imagine what would have happened to them if their parents did not take the decision to empower them. So, like I said at the beginning, empower your female children. And I'm speaking uh, uh, more uh, to African fathers out there. Empower your female children. Now, I want to end this show by inserting something, an image, which you can only find in Africa. Please take a look. And now, where in Africa do you find such tall and beautiful ladies? Only in South Sudan. Now, you now know what to do if you want to have tall and beautiful children. Just go to South Sudan and find yourself a lovely girl. I want to thank you for watching and if you have enjoyed our show today, consider to subscribe. Subscription is free and when you do so, you help us to grow. Also, consider to like and to share our videos and please send in your comments because when you do, it shows that you are engaging with us here and you are encouraging the work that we do. Thank you.